See, this is what everyone's subscribed for. This is it. This is the, the craziness. Last time you saw a clean car? Um, it's about three years old. So, about that long. Don't say three years. <laughs> What up, Showstopper Squad? Sorry. Uh, Showstopper Squad. Welcome back! <laughs> Can I see the lighting? It's really good. Really? Yeah. I don't know about really good. <laughs> it's like definitely like doable. <laughs> okay, so first of all, I have to say this outfit is part of another video that I am posting either next week or the week after where I wear only a certain type of clothes for a week. I'm not gonna spoil it. Should I spoil it? And today I'm filming a YouTube video, so that is what I'm wearing. You guys saw me organize my hoarding room and you guys really liked that video. What I've been avoiding for, I think I've had this car for like three years now. You know about my Toyota Corolla. It's really filthy. I've had things in the trunk of this car from when I moved from my studio apartment was that two years ago? Same shit has been in the trunk. It's just been piling on top. I can't even use my trunk. I never go get my car detailed because it's so full of junk that there's nothing to detail because it's all garbage. So today what we're gonna do, and the only way I could force myself to do it is if I did it as a video, is clean out my car, wash my car. Do you wanna come get my car detailed with me? Sure. Really? Yay! All right, so let's take a little tour of the car. First of all, I don't know how it gets so dirty. It's in my garage almost all the time. I don't drive, I Uber everywhere. So that's very confusing. I'm not driving through any type of terrain and it doesn't rain in LA. So I don't know how this car, I just watched this car honestly like, okay, like a month and a half ago maybe. <laughs> but like I don't drive it. But what gets really sad is inside. Hop in the Corolla with Big Mama. Let's take a little tour of the front. This is a problem. Video coming up where I have zero trash for an entire week or day, we'll see, but zero trash. This is actually a mild day. This here is at all times filled with, oh God. That is really, really gross. These will go to recycling. Look, this is such a waste. I'm all about sustainability now. Reusable cups, that's how, the only way I'll drink coffee, but I need a soda stream. Do you know what that is? The ones where you make your own? Sponsor me, I would love that. Hi, soda stream. Does everybody know I got this car for free? How? Did you, you didn't know that? No. I got this car for free, I won a dance competition. Did you really? And I got a car. Shut up. And I've been driving it ever since. That's insane. I mean, it was all sponsored by Toyota and they didn't give me floor mats. And of course I'm not buying floor mats, I'm so lazy. <laughs> and also, I lost a Toyota brand deal recently. Why? My agent um, hit up my manager and he was like, can you tell Gabby to delete some of these photos off her Instagram? It's gonna hurt her with brand deals. Uh -huh. and I'm like, ah, pff, what brand deals? And then uh, Toyota was like currently talking to me to like do a brand deal and they pulled out. Look at all these receipts. I don't know. I don't know where my registration is. Dude, one time <laughs> I got pulled over. I had an expired license and no registration and he was so caught up on my expired license, which he actually let me go for, but he did give me a ticket for texting and driving. Really? But he never asked for my registration. Wow. And if he would have like asked for it and I didn't have it, because he just didn't ask. Because yeah. right away, as soon as he said license and registration, I went on the story about why my license was expired. Completely forgot my- You gave him a free story time? <laughs> is yeah. that bonkers? Anyways, what's in here? There's no way that any of the stuff in here is important or works or both what could this possibly be and why did i find it important enough that i put it in this thing you know who's these are tom cruise i'm pretty sure these belong to the kid i did a story time about him the one where i was like i just got broken up with for the dumbest reason or i just got dumped for the dumbest reason yeah these are his this have been here in so long this oh why don't i use this oh probably because it's like dirty and not sticky this what is, is so you can vlog in your car safely oh uh... well, is this not navigation? It's for anything it wants to be. Wow, convene. What, what, why? What is this? <laughs> no, it's for GoPros. Why would I have a GoPro cable? Do you have a GoPro? Yeah. Oh, I was looking for this. Why do you still have that? What do you mean? Throw it out. Why? It doesn't smell good. But it's cute. It's a driving distraction. You're gonna get a ticket. Dude, all these Hint water bottles are stuck under here. Is this a brand deal for Hint? <laughs> when girls see me. Ew! My grandma watches these! Shout out Gabby's grandma. Oh my god, hair tie! Hey, lucky day. Dude, there's so much under here. It's probably easier if you go from behind though. I said that before, nobody looked. Nobody looked, it's literally just me. I'm such a dirty bitch! Oh, I love it! Watch. Are you washing my car? Yeah. 
This is wasteful. I'm done with water bottles. All right, let's go to the back. You know what this reminds me of? What? One time, I had to pee so bad because I was at a party. The line for peeing at the party was like literally a 45 minute wait. I could not make it. I was a drunk girl. I peed in this parking lot and it was like sort of at a slope like this. And I peed, I've never peed that much in my life. We went to the back of the parking lot and then all the way to the front and my pee was still trickling that far down. Ew. That's how much I peed. This is where it gets embarrassing. And this is how you, Oh my god, that's my registration! <laughs> is it really? <laughs> Remember I said I couldn't find my registration? <laughs> Should we go on the other side because this one's wet from all the girls that saw me? Stole this from the gym because I took a shower and then just walked out with it like this, not thinking. This dirty towel that I showered with has been in my car for half a year, maybe. This is the most tragic part. I want everybody in the audience to guess what's in this box. My address on there? No. No, because I didn't live here. That's how long that this has been here. This box is YouTube is my therapy merch. This is all that exists left of these shirts. I should do a giveaway. To me. You on? Yeah. Drop the mic was 2015. That was like 12 years ago. That's how long this has been in here, 12 years. I've had this box in my back seat, taking up my entire back seat for two years, no, three years, three years. That's been in my car for almost as long as I've had this car. That's bonkers.com. This is on P.O. Box from when I had my P.O. Box and it's been in my car for so long. So these are the last of my unopened P.O. Box letters. And now the trash. Whoa, I have not- Is that a gerbil? I can't believe I'm sitting in my backseat right now. Uh, that must mean that I've never had more than one to two people in my car. That is so sad. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but like truly. My paper towels. <gasps> Useful. It's honestly embarrassing. It's all just snacks and water. This has been in here literally since I filmed with Molly. Oh my God, I've been, lo I've been looking for this for so long. Somebody gave me this in London. Like an elephant gets afraid of a mouse. That's what I do. I have like breakdowns over small things. Kind of dramatic actually. This literally says you must remember this. I don't remember any of this. These are packets for my pilot. That nobody's picked up. More water bottles. Ew, real question. How did so much hair get in my back seat? Especially considering nobody's been back here because there's been a box taking up the entire thing for three years. All right, are you ready? Yeah. This is where it's really spooky. How many bodies are in there? Let me tell you a little something about my trunk. This stuff has been in here. I don't even know how. This has been in my trunk for longer than that box has been in my back seat. These are bubble balls. Should we blow them up? Yeah. We're blowing them up. They're impossible to put away. Really? And I never brought them into my hoarding room because my hoarding room was so full that I had nowhere to put them. So they've been in my trunk. Look how much space they take up. I have not used my trunk literally ever because my trunk has been filled to the brim since I got this car. I filmed a video with these bubble balls with Miranda Sings and I deleted all the footage on accident. This stuff is all from when I did that video with Joey where we went shopping at Goodwill and I put it all in my trunk and I was like, oh, I'm gonna go redonate to Goodwill and it's been in my trunk ever since. Cassette tapes. Cassette tapes. When I first moved to LA, like when I was still in my psycho roommate's apartment, wow, I'm referencing every old video I have right now. I wanted to decorate my walls with old cassettes. How long is this now? Like. 20 years. These are all cassettes. The question is where are they all gonna go? My hoarding room. Yeah? Yeah. I feel so, I feel dirty. My trunk has been so full. I would be driving and my trunk would just be open because it was so full that like the latch like unhinged itself. That's how f***ing like tragic I am. Mm, it's stinky in here. I could not think of a more me thing to happen right now. I just lost my key somewhere in the trash. Carried all that stuff up, it was so heavy. And then when I got up there, I realized that my key was no longer on my key ring. So I need to go through all the trash, go into the trash can, pull the stuff out, go through the actual trash bin because one trash bag was broken. So it was in that one that it would have fallen to the bottom. Oh, this is so me. I cannot express the annoyance and frustration. This is why I don't try to better my life. Nothing good comes from it. I could have just gone on living my happy life not giving a shit about any of this. Or is this what I get for being a dirty ass bitch? I don't know. This has to be karma for something. I refuse to believe that the universe is punishing me for wanting a clean car. I can't accept that. Let's go look at the trash. Maybe that's it. <gasps> what? Do you see it? No, it's a bottle cap. 
you. I think I'm just mind blown at how like calm and regular collected you are right now. Dude, therapy. Can you say it again for the people in the back? I'm shocked. You're all about this. You're just like, yeah, yeah, we'll just go look in the trash, we'll find it. But not me. I think it's really bizarre how you just lost your key and you're just all, yeah, this is my life. It's great. I mean, I don't think it's great. I'm very deeply and thoroughly upset. You're very good at controlling it. Stay in my life, take you home, and drive all night to look in the trash. Uh, I don't think it's in here, bro. This is not recyclable. Like, that's like. That looks perfectly good sandwich. <sighs> oh, f my ass. I have to pee really bad. No. Found her! She was in one of the boxes, which means Gabby dig through the trash for nothing. I used to panic at any sign of distress. Panic at the Gabby show. I love you. <laughs> We're going to the car wash. You know I'm how great mind. you know how great your life is doing? Hmm. What is blinking and is red? My seatbelt. The camera battery. Okay, cool. I love that. I need to go find a snack while this is happening. I'm really bad at parking. Is that good? Okay, word. Two hours? Two hours? It's completely Two hours? We are in my store, Trader Joe's. Oh. Coffee. Huh? Did you ever come in here? Yeah, like twice. You want this? You want a coffee? No, I'm good on coffee. Mm. A lot of sugar. We love coffee. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Well, we're not in the snack aisle. We should go to the chips. No, healthy. Oh. Is there pepperonis? Ew. No. <laughs> she looks pretty. Wow, look at her, shiny. Aww, she's coming back to life. They, this is what everyone's subscribed for. This is it. This is the the craziness. And look how pretty shinier she looks. Bam. But she's gonna be dirty in like a second. Yeah. So we don't really know what you're getting. It's like a spin the wheel game. It, yeah. could, it could be 250 or it could be 25. Yeah. So we will, <laughs> we'll find out soon. We'll see what they charge us. <laughs> Hi, Gabby. Take me home. All right. Oh my God. Look how clean it is in there. Good for her. Wow. We love her. She's really doing her best. Isn't she? Look at all the friends you can fit in the back now. This was so nasty and now it's clean. I'm satisfied. I feel good about it. it smells clean in here, but doesn't it actually look like a new car in here for real? It does. They're really nice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I'm such a bad driver. <laughs> oh my God. Look, we have a whole team. Bye, Ansel. Don't thank you. you. You too. What was the total price? $25. And then what? I, yeah, I'm gonna leave that boy a nice ass review too. And free parking, bitch! So my car is clean, but my apartment is now extra messy. But we have a hoarding room for that. But I have one thing left to do. I promised Ansel I was gonna leave him a good review. And when I tell people I'm gonna leave someone a nice review, I actually am. Ansel was super efficient. Yes. Friendly. Kind. And mo- Oops. Handsome. Most importantly. A fantastic all around gentleman. My car smelled like I just got out of a shower. It actually did. They made the car lit. I'm making so many zingers, but I feel like you don't notice. I have ADHD. We, know, we didn't cover this. Right. You'll notice when you're editing though. You'll be like, wow, mm -hmm. Joe's so funny. You know what's really scary? Sometimes when I edit, I actually do see, like it's so weird. Like somebody will say something and I'll just be like, well guys, I had my car for three years or more than three years. It's finally clean and I feel really good about it. It's something that's always in the back of my mind, just like my office was, where it's like, I need to do that, I need to do that, I need to do that. And the only way I can force myself to do things is if I make videos about it. So, and this is this week's show stopper of the week. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't. And as always, I love you very much. Thanks for being a part of my family and I'll see you next time. Say you're talking to me,